All right, so uh, moving on now, let's finally talk about season two of What If, right? So uh, we'll just, you know, run through these, these episodes quickly. We'll get into some spoilers, right? Um, but what I will just say, just, just in general, just, just to, to open things, right? So, um, you know, the first season, you know, came out uh, a, a while back. Um, and, you know, even though I was that blown away by it, right? Um, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought that using that, um, that beloved comic book, um, What If... You know, as as a springboard for the show, I, I you know as a springboard for the for the MCU, yeah, it makes a lot of sense now because you know the, the the world of the MCU is already so large and it's getting larger literally by by the months, right, by the seconds, right. Um, yeah, it's 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 you know the material is right for something like this, right, where you could see you know what if this thing didn't work out and this other thing happened, and you know you kind of use as an excuse to to bring other characters and you know play out different scenarios and this have us you know comic book or or you know superhero film nerds thinking you know what that actually could make that actually kind of make sense or uh, or at times nah that 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 kind of don't make sense at all you know what I mean so in a way it works right it's very ambitious you could you could really see. How you know it's the creativity is the creativity involved though that, that I really admire about the show the most, right? And also the, the, the animation. I think that the, the animation or I should say the art style, um, I'm not familiar with what it is or what the category is, but I think that it works for something like this, right? And lastly, I do like the fact that you get, you know, a majority of the original, you know, um actors who played who, who played roles in these films to show up, right? right. Um whether it's Ben the Cumberbatch or Mark Ruffalo, it's it's funny to me that they like in this season here. I don't, I don't, I, I think they probably did it in the last season too. Yeah, they did. You know, Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson didn't show up. You know, so they get leak yeah, bell. They too, yeah, yeah they, they get leak bell. You know, from um uh from from Poison. Sorry, who played Poison Ivy in um Harley Quinn to play Black Widow? I thought that was pretty interesting. I hear the voice. I hear the low voice, and I forgot the guy who they got to play um who they got to play Tony Stark Iron slash Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 even though it's that Robert, it's that Robert Downey's voice, he have the mannerism Sugar. down. He have it kind of yeah. down. Yeah, so I, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. He did right. Um, and and well, for me, one of the big takeaways from this show here is um, you know, Captain Carter, right? You know, basically, you know, Peggy Carter, but she is you know Captain America in this in this series here. I think that like for me, she is the standout character of this show. Right. You know, yeah. uh, well, and the second place being, of course, the Watcher, you know, played by my boy Jeffrey Wright, right? Everybody else is just pretty much characters that you know and see and you love. And it's just like, oh, you know, it would be interesting if you did this instead of that, right? That, that That's the sell of it, right? And this season here, they, they, they do that as well too, right? But um, what I will say, just, just to get that gripe out of the way, though, I, I don't know if it's the same with you, Ricardo. Um, I felt like this season here was... In particular, a little convoluted though. Um, yep. And it start it start okay. It start okay. It did. Yes. And then what is what is I found I found two things. A little convoluted is one, but two, the actual payoff was pretty weak. Um, <sighs> Agreed, man. And and, and I say that little too, eh, because if I yeah. say it a lot, then you know people might think, oh, you know, huh. you 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 you're part of that whole, you know, because you, I don't want to bring up superhero fatigue in this, right? I will yeah. I will exclude superhero fatigue in this show because I don't think it, it exists here, right? Well, here's, here's what I'll say about superhero fatigue. I don't think as the audiences are superhero fatigue. I think the creators are superhero fatigue, right? Because a lot of people just kind of don't want they don't want to do anything interesting with it, and but they feel like they have to put it out still. So they're just like it all the all the hard work, all the low hanging fruit kind of pass now. So now you have to actually think about what you're gonna do going forward. And after Thanos, it's kind of hard. Like that's how I feel about it. So you you're gonna have a handful of people who could. Make it work now. Yeah, James Gunn is one of those. Like, sorry to say. So, you know, so that's what I feel about. That's what I'm at. You know, about superhero fatigue as it is. Yeah. Um, and, and, yeah. And, and lastly, right, before before we get into the, the episodes, right? And, you know, um, like, like I was, I I, 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 I will actually accuse myself of seeing this too. I said it was, I said this with the Marvels, right? Where, you know, the, these, these shows kind of trust that you have to see every single show right. under the MCU um, banner to understand everything like that, right? And here I felt it was it was that though. Like I have yeah. to mentally go back to, you know, shows like Captain Marvel. I have to go back to the first Thor movie to remember. Oh, this character, this side character, that side character, right? Because right, right. yeah, I'll, I'll say in particular with the last I mean, couple of episodes in particular, right? Yeah. Um. Before we get into that, right? Yeah, they throw everything. Including right. the, ch- the kitchen sink at you. While I was enjoying it, well, it, 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 it it's end. Yeah, it's like, it's well, it, 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 it,
you know, yeah. could happen happen in this. And it, yeah. it makes some sense, like in it, terms of like it, what, what it, what's it, going on. Yeah, it, it it does, right? But for me, yeah. it, it I was watching this. It, it kind of it like this. This is the best compliment I, I could give it. It kind of felt like I was watching like gameplay of Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Like it, it, yeah, it felt like I would have yeah. seen a bunch of heroes oh, who are oh, unrelated, oh, right? Who just yeah, show oh, up oh, in oh, one oh, scene yeah. and they just battling each other. Where I'm like, yeah. it, it really means it. It kind of kick ass. But at the same time, I'm like, what is going on? This is insane. It's literally yeah. insane. But I, I feel like it's self-aware enough to be like, yeah, we know it's insane, but just yeah. shut, your, shut up, shut your brain right. off and just enjoy it, right? But we'll talk about our those last two episodes, right? So yeah, um, so episode one, right? Or I should say, well, season two, episode one. Um, what if Nebula joined the Nova Corps, right? Um, right. I thought that this one started off pretty, pretty promising, right? Um, well, it was weak. It, the, 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 I like the story except for the actual resolution. I thought that was kind of lame. Like, uh, it, 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 it was. They, they really could have done Tom more. Yeah, it, well, that, no, I, I, I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll get to spoilers a bit, right? So first off, love the fact that you know uh, McGill, Karen Gillan returns as Nebula, right? Um, I love the, the the Blade Runner setting of um of of oh, Xander. I thought that was pretty interesting Zander, as well. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah this, this because because I love Blade Runner and, and especially Blade Runner twenty forty nine so much. Yeah, I was seeing little bits and pieces like oh, you only get that from twenty forty nine. Ah, uh, in particular, what they did with um oh gosh with um Nova Prime, right? Um right. her turning villainous all of a sudden. Which uh she she can't rem- I, I know, yeah. I know. She yeah. she can't remind me of Robin Wright's character in Bleeder twenty forty nine where oh right. she running right. things but she actually evil and she on shit blah, blah blah right okay right but yeah but this whole idea that she 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 needed um Nebula to hot, pretty much hot wire the yeah. actual um force field that covering Xander just for Ronan to show up makes no sense. Like, and you running yeah. it, and you're the one who set up the the dome in the first place. So why yeah. you need why you had to go through all this drama? And then yeah, because for and me I be, it, be, because I well, 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 be, destroy be, yeah. a ship. Yeah, yeah, and then be, for me because I only saw um Captain Marvel once. I forgot who Yon Rog was. I was like, "All oh, right, you look right." Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Duh, but that, that, I that, forget. That was arbitrary too. Because I thought it, it would have been it would have worked if it was like if it was like maybe an alternate version of Rocket or something like that. No. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But I was right, like, "All right, you, 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 you go in here, okay." Yeah. Uh, but it was cool seeing um you know Howard the Duck. That was cool. Once I saw Seth right. Green's name, I was like, "All right, it's him, right?" Um, yeah. Korg though, I was I was uh, actually like uh, actually the, the the episodes with Korg or see the instances where Korg shows up. I think like Taika what he really shines as Korg. Like he he made yeah. the, he he's one of the reasons why I I enjoy the season because yeah it's the same goofball character that you love right. But it's like that. But yeah um overall you know good setup though and I like the new noir vibe of it too. Again. Is Joanna left from Blade Runner? I have no problem with that. You know, even right down to the ships, to the to the cars, basically how they fly off. It's very Blade Runner inspired, right? But yeah, the payoff with her, the, and they need her to to um to, to bring down the shields didn't make any sense. It's like, but all they could have do it all themselves, and you know, it's like, all right, okay, you know. But it was it's it's it it, it started off promising. It, it was it was a, it was an okay episode, right? So yeah, what were your thoughts on this um premiere? Yeah, as I said, it, it start, it, the, the premise okay, not bad, but I really felt they could just do some better with that mystery um, as it is. So it didn't, it didn't wow me, wow me. Okay, it started off kind of do it, it, it. In my opinion, this is probably the weakest episode, to be honest, um, in my humble opinion, but it dies about it. I, I just wish they, they just had a better way to resolve the supposed mystery. Like, they had to make it a big, dumb conspiracy. You can just make it a simple case, whatever. You know, yeah. 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 Um, up next, we have What If Peter Quill Attack Earth's Mightiest Heroes, right? right. Um, this one... Was was good I'd as well too. One. Yeah, I'd follow this yeah, one. Right? I'd follow this what, one what, yeah. what I like is that it pretty much takes the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy. So like, um, what if you know, basically, um, Peter, it's um, instead of him being um part of um Yondo's crew now, Yondo actually delivered him to Ego, right? So he right. now becomes powerful, and now he goes, he he's returned to Earth, and you know he's like destroyed shit, right? That that was really cool. I like that the fact that you have this this sort of um you know Avengers of sorts. So you know Peggy Carter's yeah, there. Adventures or Adventures of the Eighties, I think. What, what yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's 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 in um eighty eight eighty eight yeah. Right. Um. So you know it was cool. Uh, what 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 surprised me though was um 
Oh gosh, was he seen, was seen um, Goliath do? I was like, hey, right. Lawrence Fishburne, you in this one? So it's, only one, it's only one small thing out of change, but I get why they did it for the plot line kind of thing. So they might go forward with that, which is uh, instead of Winter Soldier, I'd have the Red Guardian guy. Um, I don't know where, where he was in that time, but he would have been there, right? Uh-huh. It should have been him. I yeah. Don't know. Um, but I, I do like that Bucky was there and there's actually a great moment where he was supposed to, to kill Peter. Um, but right. then you realize, oh, he was actually working for the Russians. It's like, oh, okay, that, that's really yeah, interesting. Yeah, huh, okay. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was cool seeing, seeing Howard there, Howard Stark, um, Thor was there. That was pretty cool. Right. Um, t- King Chachaka, though, that, that catch me by surprise. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. all right, all right, all right. And, you know, well, you know, well, the um, Atman, well, I should say, um, oh, gosh, well, well, um, Hank. Hank oh, is Atman, there. Yeah. yeah. Hank is there, yeah. Original Ant-Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it, right? Um, they do they do something kind of dumb, but I, I get that they had to move the story along where Hank's daughter is the one who had a freeing Peter. Could, could, right. could they capture him? But then, you know, there's this bit where she listened to she music, but she walked yeah. man, and it's like, oh, you know, you listen to music, blah, blah, blah. I, I, yeah. I, I get it, but that was kind of dumb, but I understand you had to get the, the, the story roller, right? Um, and another big compliment I'll give with the show here, right? Um, is how these... How I don't want to say fast, right? Well, I'll say the, the last two episodes were pretty fast for me, right? But I love how it just sort of flows, though. How it kind of tells the story. It gets to the point very quick, you know what I mean? Um, I actually admire that about about this show. I I, I, I I believe this they did that in the last season, too. But in particular with the season here, I really noticed how, yeah, just how to the point and how concise the storytelling yep. was in, in the season, though, right? But yeah, um, like you, I, I enjoyed this, right? I didn't love it, love it that much, though. But it was it was a pretty interesting concept on, again, you know, yep. if... if if a young Peter Quill had ego's powers, how that would have played out, right? Uh, that, that was pretty interesting. So yeah, your, your, your thoughts on that episode? Yeah, I thought that episode was cool too. I had a lot of fun with it. It, it a lot of it worked for me, all, all things considered. I didn't have any major issues as it is. So it's good. The song's good too. Yeah. Um, and I should mention this though, going into this next episode, right? So I did not watch this on a daily basis um from the from the 22nd of december to the twenty third, like a lot of people did right i just wait till everything done i wait till after new years and i just watch through everything right so right. it wasn't an issue for me to watch the third episode that would be what if happy hogan see christmas right because you know I yeah I, I i really really dug this one though this is yeah. destined to be a go-to uh you know christmas tv special you know be classic tv special yeah. in my opinion um and what it does do, I, I love how it just sort of knows where it is and sticks to the point, right? So basically, yeah. it's Die Hard by the MC, right? And says it's a happy right. Hogan. Uh, so he, this is the idea. This uh-huh. is the idea I remember having for for a thing, which is what you, why you should have um what you should have a, a Die Hard scenario in the Avengers tour. But my idea was something involving Ultron. Um, but I like that they did this and they made it. They made it happy. Yeah. Um, yes. I, yes. The, the, the running joke is Hulk Hogan. Um, yes, well, no. When they yeah, drop yeah. it, I was like, "Wow, why did they pick yeah. up on that?" That was so smart, right, though. Right. Because at at first, I thought that you know him being injected, you know, well by accident in quotes, you know, with with the Hulk gene, gene or whatever it is. Yeah, I thought that was just like, all right, well, you know, it's some kind of goof bullshit. All right, okay. But then when yeah. they dropped the Hulk Hogan joke, I was like, "Wow, why didn't I come right, up with that?" Know? Jesus Christ, right? But yeah, yeah. um, I, I thought premise wise, it, it it totally works. There's a couple of flaws with. It. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, I like the idea that it's Justin Hammer from Iron Man Two who does it. But right. yeah, I'll get to the couple of flaws, right? So I understand. This is just nitpicks, right? So I understand, right? I understand the idea was that you were going to hack into Ultron and use the, well, I should say, well, yeah, well, basically use the, the Iron sense. Man butts or whatever it is to, to be a muscle. Okay, I understand that, right? But bro, you, you have two gunmen with you, you, you like, rubber is diehard, though, so I expect like right. a whole squad of gunmen. You bring two men and like, really? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this, this on people, yeah, yeah, this yeah. on people, it's just like, oh gosh, like, and even they had all sight die hard in this, in this show, show yeah, this. They, so make, like, and well, they make a you, bunch of, you. they make a bunch of, like, die hard references, but also a lot of, like, a lot of shots from old MCU episodes, like, hmm. Or up to you movies now. Like, oh yeah, right. This is from this movie and this is from that movie and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, they make it work for it. Was, I don't know. I just thought it was really funny and charming. It worked. Yeah. Uh, where 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 everybody was was funny. Like like when the Avengers had to come back, that yeah. was funny. Uh where where Black Widow was was funny. I, I like that. that um funny, and, yeah. and the bit with um with Bruce and and, and, and Hawkeye, that was funny as well too. I like yeah. that, right? Yeah. Um but yeah, if I just have another gripe though, I, I mean as, as as much as I love the actress and she voiced all that though, uh Darcy, she is still annoying. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh there's a couple bits where she does a Christmas carol and I know it's for jokes and they had to end the episode off with the same that that dumb carol that she does. I was like, 
Ugh, stop it, please. It's dumb. The first time, you know, need to drag it along. But I understand. I understand why she was there in it, though. And I love that, you know, <laughs> there's a point where Maria asks, like, um, you know, uh, like, if you've ever held on a job before, though, because she just keep talking about she's the best intern ever. You know what I mean? I, I, I like that 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 bit. That was, that was pretty yeah. funny as well, right? But yeah, she was kind of doing it at, at some bits. So. What they did with the Hulk, but still, though, that was great, right? Right. And yeah. because, you know, uh, Happy is now, well the, well, the character apparently is called the Freak, though. Yeah. They get yeah, some moments awesome. of simulated graphic also, violence yeah. where he is just destroying all these Ultron like butts straight out. how he does it yeah. was so badass so, um, I actually yeah. like the fight between him and I mean, it, it, um, like Justin when he's the Hulkbuster outfit that was right. cool. and it's the same a lot of the same shots from each Ultron no? yes same, yes same yes fight, same, yeah, yeah. a lot of overlap but, but it yeah. works for the most part and, and lastly um, and you know just, just touching on, on, on Die Hard Worship though I love how it also replicates the um, the music from the film, right? I forget the composer yeah. of the film, right? But what what I love about like what he did in Die Hard is where he would take like the the Christmas carols, right, and just work them into the orchestral piece, right? So you hear like yeah. dun, 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 and then you'll yeah. just drop some drums and some strings to heighten up the scene. So he incorporates some Christmas carols and melodies into the into the score right and they did that very well you know they replicated in this episode yeah. as well too man so they, yeah they, they I, had some straight up straight up scenes from die like the part where he died for the window with the yeah thing with and, and, and when, they, oh, when they when they when they unlock the the big you know oh the room where all the you know the the thing that we're seeking all this time is in this room and well in, in the old film they was playing the ninth symphony you know they, da, da, yeah. da, well in this one they play something a little similar so i like that but yeah this is going to be a certain this is already a certified, you know, Christmas TV special classic, man. I could see myself yeah. going back to this in the future, man. So yeah, yeah, uh, your, your thoughts on this episode? Yeah, yeah, I love this one. This is my personal favorite one. It's just, it's just funny. They make a bunch of diet references, general movie references, and then just a bunch of MC references, and it, they just come together really, really well. I, I usually tend to like hate this kind of reference humor, but it, it really worked in this, in my humble opinion. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not sure if you if you enjoyed this one, right? Um, this one actually came out on Christmas Day itself. What if Iron Man crashed into the Grandmaster? Right. I kind of uh, like this I one. Did, I, I didn't love this, but it was alright. Yeah. Um, it's it's one of those things where premise wise, yeah, 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 it, it's a huge, huge, huge stretch. But yeah. I like the idea that you're taking these characters who who don't fit in each other's films and put them into one show, right? So basically you're taking yeah. post Avengers Iron Man, but you're throwing them into Thor Ragnarok. So he meets the Grandmaster, played once again by uh, Jeff Goldblum. They train Valkyrie, play member Gail Tessa Thompson. Of course, Korg is there, you know what I mean? Um yeah. But what is surprised me with though was was training Gamora. I was like Right. And but if right, I just have if this, this explains where Gamora and I, um, where Gamora came from in yes. uh, in the last season for that. In the last right. season, yeah, yeah. Um, if, if I just have one... Well, uh, you know, you, you can nitpick it for these, right? But this one gripe, though, is, is, is kind of where that it starts. Well, technically, it starts off with um with Tony Stark, right? But it's really about Gamora. But I feel like Gamora would kind of... You know, like, it wasn't really about Gamora, even though it technically is about her, if that makes sense. So, she, like, right. kind of kicks the story off, but it's really about yeah, Tony and part, how he got there. Yeah, because her rejecting Thanos. Like, yes. I get all of that. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, but uh, but what what makes it work do and they caught me by surprise though was the sort of like the pod cheese so the pod race that they do in the right. end I thought that yeah. scene was 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 just yeah, fucking chariot, kick ass in my opinion yeah yeah the yeah. chariot race thing right you know very Mad Max inspired you know what I mean? but it yeah. it totally totally works so I I love the I love the bit where you know well just basically the um oh gosh the the chariot that that Tony races I thought that was great I love that it's 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 Oh, it's that like a transformer but in a way it is where it's yeah. part of his armor, but it's like his armor turns completely into the into the machine, you know. So I like that. I thought that was right. pretty cool as well, right? Uh where where it ends with Grandmaster was was dumb, like as a as a right. as a Wizard of Oz reference back yet, because they mentioned Wizard of Oz before, I was like, alright. And I felt they could have done a little bit more with the closer the closing moment with Thanos and Gamora. I was like all right, I get it, but okay, you gotta give me more than that. But all right, like it's like okay, like the show wrapping up, so let's just show this brief scene and this end it right there. Okay, the end. Like all right, okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I because it just took these characters who technically not supposed to fit in this in this episode at all. I just yeah. showed them into one episode, and it it, it kind of works, you know. But yeah, your, your your thoughts on this one? 
Yeah, this one, this one was, uh, I had fun with this one, but it also was kind of forgettable too. Um, it's only when you mention this kind of stuff, it's like, oh yeah, right, that happened in this episode. And that happened, and that happened. But that's about it. I didn't, um, didn't super love it. Didn't, I, it was a step down from the previous episode, so I wasn't too hyped about it, but it's still good. Like for what you're trying to do and see and, and what he was going, going for. It's like, yeah, cool. Right, right, right. So here's where they, they try to go into the into the more traditional narrative route, right? Like they like they did before, right? This is where what if Captain Carter fought the Hydra Stomper, right? Um right. in terms of just capturing the feel of Captain America, the Winter Soldier, this episode worked right. for me. Um, you know, you know, uh, basically making Steve Rogers the with the Soldier character this. What right. the catch me though is that they took Bucky and, and, and made him um well, I, I think he was he, yeah, he was he was the head of up. yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, he he was the head of Hydra, right? I believe so. No, no, he was the head of he had a shield. Right, he, uh, shield. My bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, oh, well, is um, is this is, is um this uh, Robert Redford's character? He's in that. Right. Um, what is yeah. um? Oh gosh, Alexander something. I, I forgot right. the name. PS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, PS. PS. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, can, can I watch the face like that's Alexander well, right, Pierce, right? But then but then you see those Bucky's like, oh shit. Yeah, that's... but Bucky, remember Bucky didn't have the, the didn't have any the, he didn't get the thing he didn't wasn't captured, so he didn't have a thing and he just aged like a normal person. Yes, yes. So, like, yes. Yes. Yeah, that, that catch me by surprise though. But um but get back to the with the solar thing, right? So instead of um uh, Falcon and, and um and Captain America, it's Peggy and Black Widow and it works. Like right. like again, yes. it, it just works as just this, you know, subversion so, uh, yeah, yeah, just, just, yeah. Body, body thing, yeah. I wouldn't reveal as a villain. Like, oh, okay, right, that makes sense. Yes, um, yes, so yes. That girl from um from Black Widow, uh, what's she name? Uh, uh, Melina, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, I only saw that movie once. So I was like, oh, right, you. Right. I forgot I'm getting that. I'm going to ask you this name. I'm going to Richard Weiss. Yes, yes, yes that it's actually who played the voice, uh, do the voice for that. By the way, right? Yeah. Um, when yeah. end kind of catch me by surprise, I imagine was for a lot of people, where all of a sudden Carter gets sucked into like this. Right. Um, well, so this basically it's sixteen oh two. I just see well Nick Fury right. and Wanda there. Yeah, and that's where I say you know that's where the narrative, the real narrative of this whole Sada, season Sada begins. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, because, well, I mean, like, everything else was just one-off episodes. Though, but this one is like, yeah. okay, this is where we're actually going to tell a story here, right? You know? Right. But yeah, other than that, I, 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 I really enjoy this one. Mainly because, right. yeah, it's it's basically like a, a female version of Captain America, the Winter Soldier, right? So I right. really enjoy this one. But yeah, your, your, your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I, I dug this one too. Um, it, good fights, good, what it, what it's doing is it, um, good story. They make, they make a real good conceit about it. And it, it, it fun and, and they make it work. And the villain, when, when they reveal Rachel Weisz characters, the villain, like, yeah, that was kind of cool. Because they, they did the same thing with Blackwood. It's more a Blackwood kind of thing mix up. But like, yeah, I, I dug all of that. Yeah, so up next now we have, I don't want to say a divisive episode, but one where I wish it stuck with me more, but I get where it's getting with it. Uh, right. What if so Kahori real... reshaped the world? Yeah. What's that? What if Kahori reshaped the world? All right, right, right. This yeah. is the, the new, um, the new guild, right? The new yeah. original character. So, right, right, right. Yeah. So for me, I I like the ambition. I like that we're we we're, we're introducing a, a new character into this world yeah. here. That will be Kahori. She is this um Mohawk um this young Mohawk woman, and yeah. because of the Tesseract crashing crash landing on um on in America, um yeah. in what I think it's like the fifteenth century, whatever it is though, she yeah. finds herself in this dimension where like the people who was well, basically is this pool where well, the fault of Utna. So when they right. go there, they're pretty much stuck in this dimension and they have powers and whatnot, right? Um, right basically they basically get powers from the soul, the space stone. Yeah, from the space stone, yeah, yeah. Manifest through all of them. And she basically is is like a kind of new Captain Marvel in a sense, no? Yeah, uh, it, it, in a sense, right? right. Um, yeah. So you know, I, so, so I like I like the fact, like, well, even show them, um, you know, acknowledge it at the end of the, of the episode. You know, special thanks to the Mohawk people for the contribution yeah. to this too. Right, so, yeah, you know, because it, yeah. the entire episode was in in Mohawk. It was yes, speak it was. English. It was just Mohawk and Spanish. So like, oh yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah, it it, it reminds me a lot, like like pre. You know, it's it's you know right. that, that that's like right. the I, obvious I, reference, I, right? Yeah. Hey man, did you stop it into? Yeah. Um, but for me personally, I felt I, I wish this episode connected with me a lot more. Like I get what you get right. at with in terms of oh, you know, let's just take this person who is not part of the MCU timeline at all and give her powers, and now she becomes part of it. As you see in, in the end, when um uh when when Strange Supreme shows up, I was like oh, because I was I I, I saw um Ben the cover match name in the beginning. I was like wait wait right. where are you coming in. And they drop him in literally the last second. I was like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Right. But I did not think that she was going to show back up again 
and we'll see where later on, right? But yeah, this episode was was good. I I really yep. admire it for what it is, but I just wish it it connected with me more. I, I think it's just because I'm being introduced to a new character and I'm in this new world that didn't doesn't have anything to do with the MCU. You know what I mean? So it's like that. You're, you're introducing people to something new and you're giving them it. You basically doing this introduction in like what twenty five minutes, right? So right. it took a while for me to really get into the swing of things. I was like, all right, I I get. I get, you know. But yeah, yeah, your, your, your thoughts on it? Yeah, I, I, I dug this one. I, I had enough fun with it. Again, it, it really doing the pre thing, uh, but it, it, it works well. I, th- I thought I was enjoying it for what it was. It was it was surprisingly um, engaging. Like, that is the main thing out of it, is that I was actually engaging this character and his story and what he was trying to do with it. And at the end, then, well, where it goes ultimately with the character, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it was fine. Like, yeah. I, they make it work for what it is. Yeah. Personally, it felt kind of force where she goes to well basically it's queen um isabella she actually goes into right. into spain itself right, right. yeah right. i was like all right it's okay you know um up next well, she, we ha- they could do that because it's space stones it's like yeah okay that makes uh, sense. i understand but i was like all right anywhere, yeah. yeah but it, it, it i don't want to say shoehorn it just sort of happened very quickly like again it's near the end of the episode like all right and even right. when when strange supreme shows up to is like what like what right. you know what I mean? But anyway, um, up next we have another favorite episode of mine. Me, it may not be for you, but I I really enjoyed the shit out of this one. What if Hella found the ten rings? I don't. This, yeah, this one was this one was great. Yeah, this 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 to me is where what if was really hitting the mark though. Where yes. yeah, again yes. taking characters that that's supposed to coexist and saw how they make it work. Right? So they take Hella, played by McGill, Kate Blanchett, and they got her to voice it. I was I was I was happy yep. to hear that. And they put her in the world of Shang Chi. I was like. Yes. This makes sense. Yeah, this works, actually yeah. makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, it worked. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it pretty much worked. All of it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And where her character arc goes, where she can, where she actually acclimatizes with the ten rings. Oh, sorry, with the. Oh gosh, with the um. I forget. I forget the. Uh, with, with, with the, the army of the ten rings, pretty much, right? Um, no, I forget. Yeah, I forget the dad's name. Um. Yeah. Wu, uh, Wu, um Wu. Zoo, 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 yeah, Zoo and Wu, right? Yeah, yeah, like the back and forth between them was cool. The way how she was looking at them was cool. Um, I actually thought in particular the artwork that they did for this though was amazing, right? They yeah. did a lot of great like shadowy effects though, because a lot of scenes take place at night. Like the like I would say yeah. like the the first and third act though, that's how the lighting in those scenes were were were, were fantastic in my opinion, right? And because, you know, I, I only saw Shang-Chi once, so I was reminded, oh, right, there's the thing with the forest and the little bamboo thing, the bamboo forest yeah. part. Okay, okay, uh-huh. yeah. But um, where it ends off, though, where pretty much Odin goes after her, and you get, like, a repeat of well, okay, Thor, so in a this, sense. This validate, I was like, all right, yeah. This validates an opinion. Okay, so I, I get into a big back and forth with somebody online about this, right, where, uh. to me, she's a person who her powers, I always thought that her powers is a matter of, like, worthiness don't matter even if you're more powerful and your worthiness you could still be unworthy now so that's why i still make the, uh, the point that odin is not worthy it doesn't really matter um what he is and yeah he, a lot of people make the argument that odin, odin's so powerful and so all-powerful and yeah in this he can get your ass cut and that makes sense to me yeah like, given the <laughs> of how his fighting skill and, and thing and that kind of validate in my opinion i the result of this validate what i saw of my opinion originally about her in, as a character in, in the original mcu timeline uh, mm. um, as it is i, I don't know i yeah. enjoyed this one though it, it, it where, where it goes and, and how she um, evolves and a lot of the character designs in this were great like her final yes. form is excellent though i love that yeah the the, the um the suit she has on there right um yeah, even yeah. the humor works so like like hello was, dropp- yeah. was dropping some she was she was, she was dropping some one liners i was like hey i, I like that yeah, i like that that's that cool right yeah. uh one thing that i thought was pretty funny though was when well her in the beginning where she's st- uh where odin cast him down to Earth there. And I was, you know, it's literally a repeat of, you know, with, with the first oh, Thor right. movie, right? But I was expecting yeah. her to say, you're an old man and a fool, but she doesn't see right. that. But I think he right, repeats right, the right. same lines with, you know, uh, I cast you down and he does his spell right. thing. I was like, ah, I like that, I like that, right? They, they, you know, MCU cook in there, right? But yeah, I yeah. absolutely, absolutely enjoy this one. This, this one is, I have a feeling, is already a, 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 a fan favorite, Mama. Yeah, I, I really enjoy this. Yeah, 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 but your thoughts on this one? Yeah, no, I, I really enjoy it. It's one of the better ones too. It really come together really well. Uh, mostly because they get the voice actors. They get the same actors and they make it work. Um, and it really... They well, well, they, they, they didn't get Anthony Hopkins. I was hearing the voice like, is that Anthony? He's like, no, okay. but... But but he, he, he does a great Anthony voice. I'll give him that. The person right, they got, okay. he does a great Anthony Hopkins voice. I will they, give him they, credit they, for they that. Got, um, they didn't get um, that guy for when? Who was... It, it wasn't him? Um, Theodore, you know, you know, Theodore, Theodore Chin, who I'm not familiar with, but... 
he oh, plays. Oh wow, him. okay. So it's not it's nothing then. Uh, I thought it was him. Okay, it's not, it's not like him. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but Kate Blanchett come true. She she do a good job with it, and I I just enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, but yeah, so nice. Right. And now we get to the last two episodes. That will be what if the Avengers assemble in six U two. And right. what if Strange Supreme intervened, right? So I'll right. just do like a, a run through of, of just both episodes, right? Because it's a two part anyway, right? I do like the part that I do like the fact, sorry, that it is a two part, right? So we go back to the whole 1602 thing where Peggy ends up at, right? And as I said before, with you know characters who that's supposed to exist here, yeah, here is where I felt the sort of stumble here because they were throwing a bunch of characters at you. And, like, for me, like, while I was watching this, right, even while, I'll talk about the action a bit, right, while I was enjoying the, the action, how over the top, oh, how over the top it is, right, I was trying to make sense of the universe at the end, right, where, okay, so, right, so this is, this Hello is, is queen, but all of a sudden she yeah. gets sucked up, but now Thor become king, I was trying to figure that out, yeah, but it's, also it's this whole happy is there, but yeah, also yeah. Tony is there, but I was trying to I was trying to figure out if Tony was brought down to this. All right, so no. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where I got confused. Right, I was thinking if the okay, so with the exception of like Thor and Hela, them right, I was wondering along if if like Peggy, if characters like Happy or um or you know um Ant Man or Iron Man, if they were brought down from the respective episode that they were in before. No, because with no. Happy, you see, he turned into the freak there. Exactly right. So it's like, right, that, that, it, it, I, I, is it I, the I, same I, happy, or no, is it, or is it because of, you know, the whole conceit that you know time kind of unbalanced or whatnot or whatever, whatever the weird thing no, is, no, right? No. So almost like what we saw with the Christmas episode become a side effect of the happy in sixteen oh two. So that's why he turned into huh. the freak. I was, I was I, lost. I, I, I was I, trying to figure out all the stuff within the insanity of the action and stuff. I was, I, I, I was I trying to piece together what's going on. I understand your confusion, because, but yeah, it, it I, would, I would probably think the same thing if I wasn't though. But it's just Marvel 1602. It's a very popular comic. They decided to just make an episode about that. That's it. Okay, uh, all right, 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 right. Which, yeah, I, I haven't read. So I guess that's why yeah. I was confused. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, the action absolutely works. Eh? Don't get me wrong. Eh? Yeah. It is that Super Smash Brothers well, kind of style you, where you, 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 you just see it, a character will show up, do a move, do a move, and everybody, everybody come just... And they will just sort of show up out of the blue, eh? and you're like, "What?" You know, what I mean, like when when Hulk comes into the story, it's badass. You know, what I mean, like the 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 war liners, he drops his cool, right? But at the same time, while I try to make sense of the world, though, I'm just trying to keep up. Oh, this character have this skill set. This character have that skill set, right? So that, right. that's why I keep saying Super Smash um, Brothers. It feels like I'm watching yeah. this a bunch of characters just in one place, just battling. You know, what I mean, so it and, works, and but at the same time, I was a little confused. You know. Yeah, and the resolution to that was pretty interesting, which I thought was something else, uh -huh. but wasn't. Um, when, when they resolved, well, the so-called person out of time, uh, when they answered that question, I thought that was something else, eh? Yeah. I I oh, you mean with, with, with Steve? Else. Yeah, I, I like right. that. Uh, yeah, I like that, yeah. You know I thought I was? I thought I was Steve from the end of the end game, you know? But oh, yes! I think I think I know why you'll get confused. Uh, why you'll yeah. think that, right? I think it's either this episode, that, uh, well, the part one, or the previous, I think it's in the previous one with um the, with, oh gosh, really high, just somber, where right. they play the song, the song right. that they were dancing to, they actually play the actual, you right. know, 40 song there. And that was a so nice I, moment, by the way, but, you know, that... I thought, that, I thought all of that was in the middle of that, maybe he had to go back and pop back the gems. Yeah, but right. Mm -hmm. I get lost, and he don't know, I get confused, and he had to, he had to get back to, 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 to his, well, the time he wanted to go to at the end. Now. That's why I thought that was, to be right. honest. Right. But... Or two seconds, but apparently not. So it's like okay, whatever. yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, I, I I had some fun with this. It's alright, but it was just like kind of underwhelming. It was like okay, I I, I know what Marvel sixteen oh two is. Thanks, you know. But none of it was like <laughs> none of it was engaging. Like it was okay. like okay, it's normal thing. And then when they resolve the second episode, when they, they finally resolve what going on, like alright, okay, it it kind of wicked. Yeah. The, the actual well, the guy into the end of the end of the episode, it was decent enough action. It was wild, but it was like engaging. It was not interesting, to be honest. It's like whatever. Um, well, well, for me, there were there were points where I sort of just sort of tuned out, right? Because yes, while it is cool seeing characters do battle against um, Street Supreme, at the same time, I'm like, all right, I have to remember this character, and that character. Sometimes these be not too right. much off camera, but to the back now. So it's almost like it, like I I found myself doing this at some points in time, like actually, you know, pause in the show and like, oh, I, Loki yeah. is there. Oh, this guy is here, right? Oh, this guy is there. Don't waste your time with that, eh? Just like, right. just watch it. 
make sense it after some bullshit on TikTok or whoever it is who is making money, you know, doing this kind of listicle kind of crap. They will yeah. do it for you, you know, whatever. Sorry to say it, but that slave labor now exists, right? Yeah. Um, you know, but yeah, that's about it. I don't. And, 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 I don't well, that's, that's a couple more things. Really that they, that's a couple more things that they remove, right? So um. And I did expect to drop Killmonger there, well, the Black Panther Killmonger there. Like, well, when I heard the music, I was like, hey, word, okay, no, it's right? The same, same Killmonger from the last season, it's the same guy. Yeah, I know, got, yeah, I know, it's yeah. Him, because he presumably beats Ultron and takes, takes the gems. Yeah. Uh, and then, well, he get, well, what do you do with him? I kind of hate it, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but, so but, but you know, I, 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 again, I don't want to be a nitpicker here, but yeah, uh, what, what I really want to enjoy this one, at the first, well, the, the two parts as a whole, right? But it really does rely on you knowing every single thing about this character, that I, character, all that kind of stuff. I don't uh, think even so. right down to, uh, you know, although I like it, uh, it, it, it on people with, um, oh gosh, Peggy getting, you know, these weapons. I, I thought that was really cool. He'll get all the weapons and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, right. it, it, it's a lot that's been true that year. But yeah, it just yeah, moves yeah. so rapid. It, it's moving it, it, at, it at a breakneck whole... speed. And I'm like, all right, yeah. slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm a yeah. fan. I want to I want to be in touch with everything, Jen. But it is true in literal yeah. objects at me, Jen. And I enjoyed it by seeing that. I was like, slow down a little bit there. But it was, yeah, it was no, a little too does, much of it. It does. It overdo, it, they really overdo the whole, you know, toy box, throwing everything in the toy box. Take at it as is it. Yeah, like, 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 right now to Peggy, like, she, she get yeah. to hammer, she get That's this thing, yeah, she get yeah, that yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. she get, she, oh, she get the gauntlet, and I'm like, yeah, all this? Yeah, yeah, all that. Much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but I do love how it ends, though, with uh, where it kind of comes out to her and the Watcher together. Um, right. Yeah, she, she yeah, actually hears the Watcher, right? But the last shot, I love because, yeah, yeah you <laughs> see the actual tree that uh, well, that Loki created. I'm like, what? Yeah. Where is the sent of the universe? Well, literally, I love it. You know, they finally answer that question. Because one of the things I was wondering, wait, does... Quick question. Does the Watcher see the actions of the TVA? Like, does he see them popping in and destroying the universes or not? Like, that was never clear to me. Right. Is he above them or not? Because he is he himself seems susceptible to the to the gems, to the Infinity Stones. But we know the Infinity Stones really work with the TVA because that technology above that. So it mm. was unclear to me about how that worked now. So it's like, oh, they finally ad- answer that question. Yes, he does. He does see the action of the TVA. And he's like, yeah, he casual about it. And where they go into that, I, again... I have no idea where the MCU go in and if they're going to resolve this multiverse plotline as, as well as you can. They probably not. But I like where I, I, I dug it. It's like, yeah, it's hype. They knew full well that Loki season 2 worked and they, they, they lead into that and those are smart ones. Exactly, yeah. So, um, in, in closing though, um, did, I, I admittedly did not enjoy the season as much as the first one. I mean, I, I, I mean, think for me it's just because the first one was just an introduction to this world, right? You know, of right. infinite possibilities. Here it's like, alright, you have to remember what happened in the first season and I'll admit I did not recap the first season so I'm just okay. marginally familiar with what happened there but I remember bits right I remember moments I remember moments I don't remember every single thing right so I was reminded and I appreciate the reminders right you know I appreciate those right but you have to remember what if and you have to remember everything else you know all the live action stuff whether it's TV shows or movies to really get into it because yeah I'll, I'll bring it one last time they do the Super Smash Brothers thing. They just throw things at you and expect to be like, you need to know this person. You need to know this skill set. You need to know this move. You need to remember that reference. You need to remember this line and what happened yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it was a lot though. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. I think what I didn't care for, I find it relied a little too much on a continuity basis and to me, they just need to just tell different stories. Like try to set up this big continuity and then not only set up a continuity but a continuity from the previous season, which I don't think they needed to do, to be honest. Yeah. Um to me the whole point of the infinite possibilities is that it's not a continuity, it's purely episodic. You can rely on pure episodic content and, and do that. And so I felt the continuity stuff is what undermined it a little bit. Like mm. you can just be just tell different stories. Yeah, but you but know, I but I do I do admire the the, the right. show for saying let me just break out of form for a while. Let me just yeah. do the narrative and pretty much wink at the, the, the audience to say, yes, right. we know, we know, we know what's going on here. We're doing something a little bit different. Bear with us. Right. I like that, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I appreciate that it did original characters. Like, all of that. Because it's like, yeah, if you're really doing a multiverse stuff, you know, you know those South Park made fun of this, no? Yeah. Usually when people do multiverse, it's just like, oh, the guy does have a different shirt or some bullshit like that. They ain't changing enough for it to make any sense. It's like, no, vast differences in, in narratives they should, they should do, now. And because they teased that at the end of, in season one, right? In, when, when Ultron was fighting, um... Uh, watch Anna. Yes. Like, yeah, you really get to see different worlds and what they could do with that. Or even in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. 
um yeah do different stories another thing is that because multiverse around this looks so different why did they just do different art styles like all of that little things like that mm-hmm. and so on and so forth like yeah. it's, it's just like kind of add up and, and just look kind of silly after a while when you, you just do well what if a small slight change that is the beginning you know that is just the basic you know jumping off point for season one but you could get real weird with it and yeah, it's, a, it's a shame that they didn't do that man like the one little couple of stories they do it was kind of underwhelming that, that's about it yeah um so that, that is it. Yes. I still enjoy some of it. I still had fun with it. But like, I really wish they get weird with it. Now. You get, you, you, you have ideas. You could do a lot with this. Though, given the nature of the MCU and the fact that we can't not really die invested in the continuity as we understand it. You know, go, 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 whole hog. Go, go weird with it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I still it, yeah. So, so for me, Rita Wise, um, decent, decent trade half for the five man. Um, right. did enjoy it as much as the first season, though. But fans of the first season would absolutely enjoy this. You know, in more ways than one. Um, the you know the the, the animation still works. You know, the voice acting works as well too. Uh, even when they don't get you know original actors to show up, you know the the right. people who replace them still do their thing. You know what I mean? Um, the ideas are crazy, um, but you know there's there's a weird logic to them. I, I really dug that as well, right? But it's just for me, it just sort of felt convoluted at points, especially when they lead towards the narrative, because yeah, again, it relies that you have to remember the first season, that you have to remember all right. the live action stuff, and you know yep. it, it's a lot though, it's really a lot, right? So I felt if they just sort of kind of slow down and really focus on what the real story is about without relying too much on fan service, we would have gotten a, a stronger season. But for what it is. It's good, right? Um, you know, people who already tuned out of the MCU, yeah, they will just be like, nope, not for me. I'm sorry. But if you're, yeah. if you're still on board, man, yeah, you'll enjoy it for what it is, man. But yeah, uh, final thoughts are written. Yeah, I, overall, it was, yeah, we get on the first season. I, re- I really wish they did, they did they just get more imaginative with it, with the material. That's all I feel about it. Not bad by the stretch imagination or anything like that. Just, yeah, do something with it, like, as it is. But what we got was fine. Like, I, I, I think it's so a rating, yeah, a 7 out of 10, probably closer to a 6. Between a 6 and a 7, closer to the 6, to be honest. Um, but I, I didn't, I didn't hate this by the stretch, by the, by the, by the, um, you know, in any sense. You know, it's just, it's, I just wish you could have do more with the material as it is. We'll see with season three. Like, I hope they set up, like, what they're going to do with Loki or do something real cool with Loki. I hope we get that. We'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, I see in terms of Loki, I'm, I'm really glad that they, they brought back Tom Hiddleston to play Loki, you know? Because yep. we said with our review of, of season two, he will always be Loki. But I do like, yep. I do hope that, you know, if he shows up in season three, you know, yeah, Tom, Tom does the voice, man. Because, you know, again, he is Loki. So don't mind that. I still believe that the live action show is done, but you know he could still do the the voice bits for you know stuff like this, stuff, you know. So I like I like it, it overall with the show here that even though characters would be coming back in live action to play the roles, like say Haley Atwell as you know Peggy Carter, for example, she could still show up and you know play her character again in What If, right? So so I like that. I think I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. 